Good afternoon, brothers and sisters, um, in the body and blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It is uh, Wednesday, the 27th of April. Uh, it is 20 minutes to 6 p.m. Right. Uh, a lot has happened since my last video. Uh, we are currently in the series of the Tower of Babel, Babylon, and the New World Order of Nimrod and Nimrod's agenda. I have a lot to unpack. Um, I think I'm going to do a two part. This is actually part two of the series, but I have to do another video because it's a lot. So we, I'm primarily focusing on chapter 11 of Genesis verse 3 and 4 when, when about the bricks the bricks and the mortar and the building of the temple of of the tower sorry this is before the lord comes down now i'm going to fill in it's a lot in the book of jasher also i just want to reiterate on the book of jasher and i've just the lord has actually given me permission now to go ahead and go fully in depth into the apocrypha and he says here uh second samuel 1 verse 18 this is in the old testament also he bade them to teach the children of judah the use of the bow behold it is written in the book of joshua then in uh, joshua 10 verse 13 uh, I, I spoke about it yesterday the freezing of the sun when joshua froze the sun and the moon in the sky for 36 moments and the sun stood still and the moon stayed until the people had avenged themselves upon their enemies. Is it not written in the book of Jasher? Question mark. So the sun stood still in the midst of the heaven and hastened not to go down about the whole day. Now I'm going to go ahead with the book of Jasher because a lot of Christians will say, why are you speaking about this hidden book? And you know the story, but I don't have much time. So I'm going to go ahead. Um, so we are focusing on Genesis 11, verse 3 and 4, right? I want to just bring bring it, bring it you into current today. This city, this town, the city that, that's being built here, this tower, the new world agenda, here in uh, Genesis 11, it's happening today. If you, go Google, if you go look up the city of Astana in Kazakhstan is where the new world order will reign from. That is the city, the New World Order city. So it was built. Uh, it's now uh, about twenty years old. But I'm going to I'm gonna go into that at a later at, at a later stage. But you must see there's a lot of Freemasonry, Illuminati symbols, and occult symbols in that city. The way they designed it. Okay, let's go. Now we are on Jasha nine, and King Nimrod reigned securely. And all the earth was under his control, and all the earth was of one tongue and words of union. And all the princes of Nimrod and his great men took counsel together, put Mizraim, Cush, and Canaan with their families, and they said to each other, Come, let us build a city, and in it a strong tower, and its top reaching heaven, and we will make ourselves famed, that is pride, so that we may reign upon the whole world in order that the evil of our, en of our enemies may cease from us, that we may reign mightily over them, and that we may not become scattered over the earth on account of their wars. They hear they are self-saying that they don't see themselves as evil. They say that there are others that are evil. That is a deception of the enemy. Now we are 24. And they began to make bricks and burn fires. Now this is verse 3. Chapter 11 in the Genesis here. And they began to make bricks and burn fires to, to build the city and the tower that they had imagined to complete. And the building of the tower was unto them a transgression and a sin. And they began to build it. And whilst they were building against the Lord God of heaven, they imagined in their hearts to war against the Lord, to go against him and to ascend into heaven. And all these people and all the families divided themselves in three parts. And the first said, We will ascend into heaven and fight against him. And the second said, 
we will ascend into heaven and place our own gods lower g there and serve them and the third part said we will ascend to heaven and smite him with bows and spears and god knew all their works and all their evil thoughts and he saw the city and the tower which they were building and when they were building they built themselves a great city and a very high and strong tower on account of its height the mortar and the bricks did not reach the builders in their ascent to it until those who went up listen to this eh? until those who went up had completed a full year this is how big this this tower was and how high it was going and after that they had reached to the builders and gave them mortar and the bricks thus it was done daily yeah listen to this this is this gets oh this is like a uh a, 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 a action adventure and behold these ascended and others descended the whole day and if a brick should fall from their hands and yet broken they would all weep over it and if a man fell and died none of them would look at this man at this body and the bodies left there and the lord knew their thoughts and it came to pass this man that lie dead did not even get buried and the lord knew their thoughts and it came to pass when they were building they cast the arrows towards the heaven and all the arrows fell upon them filled with blood and when they saw them they said to each other surely we have slain all those that are in heaven they thinking that that god is visible and you can go there now remember in one of the teachings i said in the garden of eden adam and eve hid them hid them from the hid themselves from the presence of the lord for this was the lord in heaven to cause them to err and in order to destroy them off the face of the ground and they built the tower and city and they did this thing daily until many days and years were elapsed and god said to the 70 angels who stood foremost before him to those who were near to him saying come let us descend and confuse their tongues that one that one man shall not understand the language of his neighbor and they did so unto them so 70 angels went down with the lord yeah and from that day following they forgot each man his neighbor's tongue and they could not understand to speak in one tongue and when the builder took from the hands of his neighbor lime or stone which he did not order the builder would cast it away and throw it upon his neighbor that he would die so there was fighting it caused mayhem the confounding of languages caused mayhem in in the land while they were building on the on this tower so you know that god saw the evil of man's hearts right he saw the evil i just want to tell you something that um you know when he was building this temp this 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 tower you can see the, there was a lot that went into this man's hearts were so evil they left their brothers to 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 die on the path it was a step pyramid and today you can see uh, uh the the new world order the the you know the uh, conspiracy theory the illuminati they the globalists they are building the they have the same intent in their hearts like what's happening in this jashin line exactly there's nothing new under the sun i'm going to continue in the next video with the completion and what happened to this tower because today people are looking for the remnants of this tower of babel and I, and i'm going to blow your mind in the next episode or the next video of this building of this tower because this tower um uh yeah I want to get you excited and I want to get you into the word of God and to see that it's very relevant today it's not an old book this book is alive and I just want you to see how alive it can be in your life we thank you Jesus for bringing that spirit of the of your spirit upon us 
that we may live lives holy and righteously. In Jesus' name, Amen.